Hello everybody and welcome back to Prophets Gaming and more Plague Inc. Evolved Custom Scenarios. For me it's July 1st right now and they still haven't updated the popular tab, which is sort of unforgivable, but that's okay. Because I got a request from a viewer via my Discord channel for the midichlorian virus, if I can find it. There you are, which I am subscribed to now by the Red Samurai. Now, I'll just tell you up front, going into this, I am predisposed to disliking this scenario simply because midichlorians kind of ruined Star Wars, or at least the Phantom Menace, who's one of the worst things about it. Then again, <clears throat> after watching The Last Jedi, I am starting to think midichlorians weren't all that bad, after all. I figured out who the real villain is of Star Wars. His name is Rian Johnson, and I will never forgive him for the hot mess that is The Last Jedi ruining my childhood. But, rather than tell you guys how I feel about that and go on a rant which can last for an hour, let's play the scenario. A long time ago in a galaxy far, far away, lived an order preserving life and peace using the Force. And as an Old Republic ship is found in Israel's Maktesh Ramon, really? The Old Republic has apparently found its way into our galaxy. I thought they were far, far away, and I thought it was a long time ago. But apparently it's now, and it's nearby. And it's in Israel, which is interesting. Believed to be a meteor crash, the old midichlorians awaken and come in contact with one of the people to find the ship. May the Force be with him. I thought midichlorians were in all things, and I guess they are in all things, they just woke up. Oh great, it's the Force Awakens. Hilarious. While playing the scenario, please stick to only one path, light or dark. Neither which path you choose, each one has a different feel. Made in prep for this last Jedi. Oh dear. Hey, it's for me! Woo! <laughs> Alright, Nurex Worm, ATP Boost, Darwinist, Terracite, Extremophile. Yeah, let's just switch over to... Do I want Terracite? Um, I'm gonna switch over... No, Terracite's actually fine. Terracite's fine for the Norax Worm. You got, you got Trojan Planes. Well, usually. We'll see. Anyway, moving on. Normal difficulty, Midichlorians is the name. This is my second scenario. I hope you will enjoy it. If not, be sure to add me on Steam and tell me what I should change or modify. Maktesh Ramon was believed to be a meteor crash site. However, recent, recent discoveries found an alien ship in it. What the finders don't know is that the vessel will reshape humanity. Are we all going to become Sith and Jedi? I personally constructed my own lightsaber. Undiscovered for thousands of years, so true. All right, transmissions, what do we got? Oxygen adaption. The midichlorians begin to adapt to the oxygen, lowering severity and increasing infectivity. I thought midichlorians were in all living things and all cells. How do they have to adapt to oxygen? It's not exactly an independent life form, is it? I don't know. Maybe I don't really know how midichlorians work. I've been kind of falling out of the expanded universe lore ever since Disney freaking retconned the whole thing. Dang you, Disney. Water adaption. The midichlorians are able to live in H2O cells, increasing water transmission. And wildlife with a little ladybug on it. The midichlorians begin to adapt to basic wildlife such as insects and bugs. I don't know if it's really as much a question about adapting as much as their awakening in, say, the wildlife. Because again, they're supposed to already be in everything. Let's go over the oxygen because we are starting off in Israel, which uh, is a hot and arid region. Could actually go for a second one too. The midichlorians fully adapt, increasing infectivity. Sure, we'll go for the oxygen immunity. This stuff is actually shockingly cheap, so I'll just pick all of it up right now. Why not? Blood transmission. This actually makes perfect sense. I mean, the transmission part doesn't, but hey. The midichlorians are supposed to be near blood because we had a blood sample in the Phantom Menace. The midichlorians are able to move through blood cells, increasing infected. They're really acting as if, like, midichlorians are an independent life form virus. You know? Which is good, makes sense for a Plague Inc. perspective, maybe not as much for a Star Wars one. Force sensitivity. Infected randomly. Infected randomly P form force powers such as telekinesis. However, they have no control over what to do with their powers or when to use them. So they're basically like the X Men who haven't been refined in their powers yet. Okay, we have cold resistance, we have heat resistance, because apparently midichlorians are temperature dependent, and we have easier cell connection, which I'm guessing is drug resistance? Yes, midichlorians have a much easier time infecting cells, making it much easier to pass class 1 and class 2 drugs. Because midichlorians can be pr freaking cured, apparently. Which is, you know, cool, I guess. Why not? Nurse wages. Ugh. All right, so what do we want to go for next? Uh, let's see, wildlife doesn't actually seem to do anything as far as infectivity is concerned. Water immunity might be better, might. But then I wouldn't mind going for a little bit of blood transmission as well. Let's just go ahead and pick that up. That leads to skin transmission. The midichlorians are able to jump from body to body when coming in direct contact and are able to go through the skin into the bloodstream. 
Okay. Uh, so fomites, basically, is what you're trying to say. And fomites are usually pretty good. More hurricanes, eh? Mm, yeah, last year was pretty rough in that front. Let's go for the skin transmission that leads to mind control. Infected try to infect other people by contact. So now they're being deliberate about it. Well, that should be against the frickin' law, don't you think? Of course, no one seems to be aware of it yet. We only have like eight and a hundred Force-sensitive-ish people right now. Actually, none of them are Force-sensitive right now. Let's fix that. Telekinesis is unlocked. Well, uncontrolled telekinesis. Basic control. 10% of the infected have a small control over their powers. However, they are very limited and can only use telekinesis to lift small objects. Nonetheless, very impressive. In other news, the number of street magicians have skyrocketed in recent years, causing global panic. All right, full mind control. The infected try to infect other people at all means. Highly increasing severity and infectivity and slightly increasing lethality. Well, that's not quite what I had in mind. I think I'll pass on the lethality. Thank you very much. So what do they gain exactly by trying to spread the midichlorian awakening? Hmm? Hmm? What do they gain? First off, how are they aware of it? And how, what, what do they think that they've accomplished? They want to make everyone like them? One of us. One of us. I don't know. Maybe. Uh, water immunity. So many things we need, but for some reason, I'm getting a very, very slow DNA. It is just not growing like worth anything at all. Let's go for a level of wildlife that leads to peaceful animals. Two L's. The midichlorians begin to use the light side of the force in order to make animals much more peaceful while infecting more evolved species such as sheep and birds. That sounds useful. Or aggressive animals. The midichlorians make the animals much more aggressive and infect species such as lions, tigers, rhinos, etc. And it increases the mutation chance. So... Which species the midichlorians awaken determines whether this planet is tainted by the dark side or not, huh? Is that how this works? Child saves a clown from the sewer. Huh. I didn't realize they added in more of these uh, news tickers recently. That one's actually pretty good. All right. Well, um, I guess I guess we could go down the light side route. We could also just go down the dark side route because, let's be honest, the dark side is much more interesting. Peace is a lie. There is only passion and all that. You know, the Sith Code which I used to know all of that stuff by heart. Not as much lately. Force push. Infected randomly release a wave in front of them throwing everyone and everything in a straight line. The infected have no control over this, which adds a bit of lethality. And then we have force healing. The infected have much more control about telekinesis and are also able to perform force healing, which speeds up the healing of the body. Does it reduce lethality? I don't know. I guess I'll never know. I mean, that sounds pretty good and all. Um... Might be better to go for some sort of, like, extreme bio-aerosol, but... Uh, I think I'll go for the light side of things. Why not? Let's, let's, let's try to be the Jedi that Luke apparently never could be. God, that movie, I swear to... Okay, you know what? I'm gonna leave it. I'm gonna leave it alone. Force push. Need for power. Infected seek more power. Breaking into the government buildings in search of information about the Force and the power it grants. Dark meditation. Infected can meditate to harness their emotions of hate, anger, and fear into their Force powers. And for Scream. Oh, picked this up from the Knights of the Old Republic, did ya? Infected have the ability to concentra concentrate their anger and hatred into a single scream, making their opponents scared and traumatized. Scared and trauma apparently adds on lethality, too. Which makes sense when you really think about it. 13 points is what I'm looking for if I want to have peaceful animals. Metachlorians are just another parasite, says the moron who knows nothing about the frickin' Force. It's a gift, tell ya. Disturbing reports of midichlorians. Yeah. Yeah, every, I, I, I heard a, a great uh, multitude of people scream out in terror after watching The Phantom Menace and learning about midichlorians. That's, that's true. Light side animals. The midichlorians begin to infect more evolved species of wildlife and are very peaceful, slightly increasing infectivity and decreasing severity. Now, I don't care about decreasing severity. I care about decreasing lethality. That's the one that makes a difference to me. But okay. Let's go for the force healing since it's relatively cheap. I mean, again, we're reducing severity. Reducing severity... Everyone thinks that you're supposed to reduce severity in some way in this game. I completely disagree. Severity is a very, very useful trait, especially if you're playing on normal difficulty, because it ties directly into your DNA generation. If you don't do that, you're going to suffer for it. All right, let's go for some water immunity that has extreme bioaerosol. The midichlorians fully adapt. That looks pretty good, but it's also very expensive. Very, very expensive. Let's see what else we got here. Light meditation. Infected learn to ability 
Uh, infected learn two ability, two force medicine tape, letting their, their them harness their emotions to become calm and heal, letting the midichlorians rapidly reproduce, because that's how it works. All right, well, let's calm everyone down for a little bit. There is no emotion, there is serenity, and all that crap. Honestly, the Jedi code is just... Ugh. Frickin' Jedi. Got all this power, and what do you freaking do with it? Answer, freaking nothing. This is why I played a Sith when I played uh, the older public MMO. And I'm proud of that, by God. Need for knowledge. Infected look for knowledge about the past of the midichlorians and the Force. They also learn how to spread the midichlorians to other people, increasing infectivity. Well, BKB. Knowledge of the past. Infected break to government centers to collect information about the Republic, the Jedi Order, the Galactic Empire, and the First Order. Oh, okay. Now I'm establishing a bit of the timeline here. This is... This is post... The new trilogy stuff. Uh, okay. I guess we'll pick it up. Lightsabers! Oh my god! Infected begin to build lightsabers using synthetic... 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 Synthetic crystals. This increases the cure speed as the non-infected fear the infected more. Well, that doesn't sound useful to me. Full control. Using information recovered in personal study, infected are able to con fully control their force powers and whenever they please. Pretty handy, not having had a teacher. You guys just figured this out all on your own, huh? Kind of like Ray, even though Luke was supposed to teach her and didn't do a very good job. By the way, can I just point out Luke gave her two lessons, not three? I'm just saying. Okay, never mind. The Jedi Order. Using the information they recovered, infected found the new Jedi Order, which keeps order and peace through force. And, 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 and mind control. And lightsabers. You ever think about that? Just like, hey, we're peaceful guardians, but we also use violence. But it's okay because we're not angry when we do it. I understand there's a lot more nuance to it all. I shouldn't rag on that stuff too much. Star Wars was a very huge part of my life. For a long, long time. Uh, apparently we can harness the force powers and stuff here. It just seems alright. It doesn't actually do much. Kind of want to do the light side creatures and stuff for, like, reasons. But I don't know. Abilities, let's go for some cold resistance. Uh, I really need to have the easier cell connection so we can get some drug resistance, because realistically, I'm not spreading very quickly right now. This is actually taking a long dang time. It's a pretty slow scenario, and because the severity is reduced if you go down the light side route, well, <clears throat> you don't get a lot of DNA, which means you run out of gas pretty darn easily, and I'm not a huge fan of that. Let's go for another level of cold resistance so the midichlorians have fully adapted to the extreme colds. Blah, 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 blah. Having a little bit of trouble in Russia, apparently. Good God, that is one of the slowest infection rates I've ever seen there. Let's go for the light side animals. Hopefully that speeds things up a tiny little bit. Could go for the extreme bioaerosol next. I think I probably will, since we are still having some trouble. Um, presumably going down the light side route will lead to a quote-unquote transcendence victory. Presumably? Force scream! Oh no, the frustrated scream and break everyone's eardrums or something. I don't freaking know. All right, extreme bio aerosol is done. That's probably the best I can do as far as transmissions. Now we focus on the symptoms. So the new Jedi Order, I'm going to guess, is a necessity. So we'll want to do that. Uh, full control gives me more infectivity, but... Mm, and actually, they all reduce severity. Again, with the reducing of the severities. Rah! It actually can make sense, right? Reducing severity. But keep in mind, severity isn't like... Is, is not lethality, right? Severity is how noticeable something is. I'm sorry, if someone founds the new Jedi Order like I'm about to, that's freaking noticeable as heck. May the Force be with you. Infected are sent by the Jedi Order to travel to other countries to further explain the benefits of the Force. Trojan Plains. Jedi Missionaries, actually, is basically what they are. I'll pick that up if I need to, but I'm pretty sure, yeah, I'm mostly just missing Greenland and Sweden. Uh, we might be able to get into Greenland on our own. No one's shutting down any ports because our severity is so gosh dang low. Let's go for full control. Um, I guess I could pick up the lightsabers, but... I mean, I hate the idea of getting some extra lethality. Can we just create a Jedi Order without lightsabers? I mean, it feels kind of pointless, doesn't it? It's like, that's a total freaking waste. Alright, let's do it. That leads to lightsaber variations. Make its use much easier. Reduces lethality. Oh, okay. People start having training exercises and chopping people's limbs off. I get it. Hmm. So where's my transcendence victory, though? That's that's what I need to know. Oh, midichlorians have been placed on the watch list. That's hilarious. Maybe we need to go for the Force Schools? Somewhere down the line, there's got to be one. Jedi Academy. The new Jedi Order creates the Jedi Academy to help infected learn about the Force and its powers. Well, that sounds all well and good. 
China apparently is very resistant to uh, this new thing. And where, where's a pop about like Disney acquiring the rights for midichlorians or something? <laughs> you just, you, you gotta find that in here somewhere, right? No? Uh, okay, I guess it's a little bit too much to hope for. Cure is uh, relatively slow, although they did just fully sequence me, which kind of sucks. They're starting to work on that cure. We are really having a hard time in, Ch in China. Now people are starting to dark meditate. That's not good. Come on, give me 13 freaking points so I can get further down the list. Come on, how do you win? Help me! Midichlorians are controlling you. Oh my gosh, that actually makes a little sense. Oh, I like it. I like it a lot. Okay, that cure's speeding up a lot here, and there's nothing I can freaking do. Come on, give me some freaking DNA! And why is China so resistant? It doesn't make sense, I tell you. I'm gonna lose at this rate. Look how slow that is! It's freaking China! There's so many people all crammed together, this is supposed to be a really quick scenario. Gosh dang it! Hurry up! Okay, let's go for that. That leads to the Republic. That's the win condition, a one worldwide government. Oh great, now we're globalists. <laughs> There's no way in heck! Friggin' China! Okay, you know what? That's it. I'm gonna restart, but this time I'm I'm going I'm gonna give in to my anger and I'm joining the frickin' dark side because the dark side's better. Okay, this is actually taking me several attempts, and I, for the love of God, cannot get China to infect at a reasonable rate. And at some point, China alone can cure you, so this just is not quite working the way that I thought I was expecting it to. You really either have to go completely under the radar with the light side, but you'll run out of gas, or you'll really have to ramp up the lethality, but even if you do go the full dark side, that's not a lot of lethality, infectivity, or even severity. So I'm not sure that this scenario is uh, winnable at the moment, or at least if it is, it requires a very specific and very, very patient route, which I don't think I have the patience to do right now. So if I have critique for this scenario, I think my primary critique is it's too timid with the infectivity, it's really hard to get a reasonable amount in the early game, and way too timid with the severity. Severity is how you get gas in order to actually continue the scenario. So yeah, this is actually a complete failed attempt. Frustrating. Unless, of course, I mean, the author did say try to focus on just one path or the other, but it looks to me like you really have to go down a fair bit of both. Some with the dark side in order to get some severity to have a meaningful amount of uh, DNA, then down the light side to go under the radar at the right timing, and then you can choose which side you want to go for. And, yeah, I don't know. I would just say that it's not quite balanced yet. Either way, thank you for the submission. I would just increase the infectivity pretty much across the board, and maybe a bit of severity as well. Thank you all very much for watching. I do hope that you enjoyed. If so, then be sure to hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time.